Hello, good day guys. This is Sharon and today I'll just show you the uh, project that I did and this is a made to order the Terra Oil um, essential pouch and uh, this is what I made. So it looks like a flower on top and a leaf and then it's a drawstring pouch at the same time so that it will keep the uh, bottle inside secure and you can hang it on your bag I actually did different uh, colors for the flowers so no two flowers are the same um, each of them is different from the others so I did two kinds of designs and I'm going to show you later how to make this kind. Um, this looks like a carnation flower while the other one is, you know, um, I know some flowers have this kind of uh, petal so this is the other design. And I'm so happy that I finished my made to order um, pouches that way I can make more designs uh, for my next video and I'm so sorry if it took me a long time to post another design and also um, if you have missed uh, this project you can check back my past videos I have showed you how to make this um, phone pouch using the uh, shell stitch and also it has a compartment not just for your phone but for other things so make sure to check on that video and stay tuned so this is what it looks like so you can add two leaves or just one for each So what do you think guys? You can actually customize the size. You can just simply work one stitch in every round depending on how tall your um, whatever you have there, whatever bottle you have. This would, you know, also um, make a good uh, gift, small gift bag, especially if you're planning to give a roll on perfume and you make one that is tall enough to uh, put the uh, perfume in and it's just very easy and it's effortless to make one just simply add bead so next is I'm gonna use a bead this one so the hole is just big enough to uh, for this uh, yarn to go through um, and I'm using this um, yarn needle to pass through this um, bead So I'm going to uh, insert it to the going to the left from right to left and then I'm gonna insert the other end on the opposite side. So from right, I'm sorry, from left to right. So Make sure it's not twisted and then you're gonna poke through the hole again on the uh, opposite side 
So make sure it's in the opposite side. And then that's it. So make sure they're even. And then after that, <laughs> so this um, design I used in my uh, Terra beadlet pouch. You can check my past videos on how I made this one. So it's, um, the pattern is three, chain three, three double crochets in the next, and then in the next uh, three, I'm sorry, after three double crochets, chain three, slip stitch in the next, and then just repeat working the petals. Now I made another design which is um, a bit different. So this looks like a carnation flower or any uh, resemblance to any flower. So this one is, um, it looks fuller than this one. And also the last one round only that would make two layers of um, this uh, particular petals and with this one I started out with the same um, round so the last round of the first first stitch of the last round I started out with uh, chain three I'm sorry chain seven slip stitch into the same stitch and then chain seven and then, um, I'm sorry, not slip stitch, but single crochet. So after chaining seven, single crochet in the same stitch, chain seven, and then for every stitch on the uh, back loop, only the front loop, I'm sorry, um, you're gonna work seven chains and then single crochet so each um each stitch in the front loop only will have two single crochets and then followed by chain seven so this is like working in loops only with two single crochets in each um loops so that's it and you will make a, uh, a different kind of flower so after that you can just flatten it out because we're going to insert this and this will work like a drawstring pouch so that we can tighten this one once we um, Put the uh, the Terra or essential oil bottle inside, so that it will be prevented from falling out of this pouch. So you will need a uh, darning needle or a big yarn needle that can easily uh, pass through these um, stitches. So I will just simply, once I flatten it out, so I'm going to start on this uh, corner here. Maybe I'll be um, sewing through uh, two single crochets. And then um, in the next one, So, until I get to this side. So this is where I'll let it pass through. Then I'll do the same on the other side where I'm gonna sew through until I get to this side. When you're sewing through, make sure it's um, just underneath the uh, stitches 
so that when you put the uh, bottle inside and when you um, pull it it will look like this and then in the next clip I'll show you how to um, insert the uh, or add or attach the leaf or the leaves so after that you will just attach the leaf in here my other projects I have used the one with the uh, embroidery silk which is uh, the color is in silver so I combined just to make it look sparkling and it's totally optional if you don't have any uh, sparkling yarn then you can just simply uh, combine this embroidery silk thread and I'm using the one in silver so I think this is the one that you use when you're uh, doing an embroidery so I bought this and then I combined them with this one is a fingering weight yarn so I try to use two strands or double pull in order to uh, make it a bit thicker and then to uh, make the leaf all you have to do is chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After chaining seven on the uh, second chain from half, work a slip stitch. And then in the next stitch, work a single crochet. Third stitch, work a And then after that, this will turn our work to the opposite side. I'm going to start with one treble crochet in the next available stitch. So once you have attached it, do not forget to leave in this end.
So once you weave in the ends, you can just um, pull this one right here, pull it, so it will be in this direction. So when you add the um, bottle, so when you add the bottle, just like that. So this could fit a 15 ml essential oil bottle, and then you simply pull it like that. bottle will not come out and there you go you can simply hang it on your bag so that it will be very easy to carry so in my other projects I added two leaves so it's up to you you can add just one or two on the other ends and uh, if you want it to uh, just stick right there you can maybe add a little bit of fabric glue so that it will stay that way and it will not move a lot so that's it guys thank you so much for um, watching the video and uh, I will insert all the pictures of the previous projects that I've made before so if you feel like you want to check back on my videos and maybe you might like some projects that I did in the past and you can you know surely follow them through my video tutorials thank you so much and God bless